you guys, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I'm joining in with some of my favorite bloggers to bring you these seven days of St. Patrick's Day. So we'll each be bringing you either seven swatches of green polishes or seven nail art looks for St. Patrick's Day. I'll be sharing seven of my favorite green polishes of all time. I will feature a separate polish each day on my blog, so definitely check that out and I'll jump into these swatches. I'm going to begin with Honeydew from Fresh Paint. These are available at Five Below's. I don't know exactly what went on with my label there towards the bottom. This is a really affordable polish brand and I found that this shade is super pigmented, really pretty, and it has that makes you look tan finish. So here is one coat of Honeydew on my natural nail. This goes on really easy. It's sort of a little bit chalky, just a tiny bit. I think with really careful application, you could get away with one coat of this. It ended up a tiny bit streaky on me, so I am going to do two coats. Here is the second coat of Honeydew by Fresh Paint. This is just going to even it up a little bit. It did have a little bit of trouble self-leveling, but great polish dries to a glossy finish and is super duper bright. So here is a look at the finished Manny. This shade did throw my camera off a little bit. My skin's not that toned, it's a lot paler. So here is a view from another angle. This is just a straight flat cream. And here is my swatch photo in artificial lighting and once more at an angle. Next up is a Mint Magic by Pop Beauty. This is a super bright turquoise tealy mint color. This is the brightest mint that I have in my collection and that's why it's one of my favorites. I really love that bright pop of color, especially in the summer. So I'll show you how this swatches. Here is one coat of Mint Magic on my natural nail. This does have a really long stem, which I find fun and easy for application. This is another polish that I think is really on the edge of being a one coater, but it just is a little bit streaky for me. So I am gonna let this dry and do two coats. Okay, here is the second coat of Mint Magic. Goes on really easy. This is just a nice coat to smooth it out a little bit dries to a glossy finish. Here is a look at the finished Manny once more. This did throw my camera off a tiny bit because it's so bright. And here is a view from another angle. So no sparkle really in this one, just a nice glossy cream. Here is my swatch photo in artificial lighting. And once more at an angle. Next up is Bevan by Zoya. This is one of my favorite Zoyas of all time. It was one of the first ones I bought. It's a very grayed out wearable green. If you have sage, it's almost like that tone, that grayed out tone, but this one has a little bit more green in it and it does dry glossy. So I'll show you how it swatches. Here is one coat of Bevan on my natural nail. This does go on a little bit sheer, but nice and evenly. Nobody does creams like Zoya does creams. So I will let this dry and then come back in for a second coat. Okay, here is the second coat of Bevan. And this is gonna bring it completely opaque for me and it dries down with that super glossy finish. Here is a view of the completed Manny. And once more at an angle. This is my swatch photo in artificial lighting and once more at an angle. 
Next up is Julep by Cirque, and this is a soft, minty, linear hollow. I'm not sure if this one is still available or not. I did order it from Nordstrom.com, I believe. So really pretty and soft. This one does not have the in-your-face hollow. It's really nice and subtle almost. So here is one coat of Julep on my natural nail. It goes on evenly, great formula. It is a little bit sheer though, so I'm gonna let this dry and then come back in for a second coat. Okay, here is the second coat of Julep. This one builds up nicely. It does dull a tiny bit, so you may want a top coat. I'm not gonna show it with the top coat, but that's gonna help bring out the hollow a little bit. So two coats makes it completely opaque. Here is a view at the completed mani. And once more at an angle. This is my swatch photo in artificial lighting. And once more at an angle. Next up is Holiday Splendor from Color Club. I believe this is from the 2013 Holiday Collection. It is a darker green jelly filled with silver scattered holographic micro glitter. So if you have China Glaze's um, Atlantis, I believe that those are almost dupes. I don't have Atlantis on hand to compare. So I will show you how this one swatches. Here is one coat of Holiday Splendor by Color Club. So it goes on smooth, not very gritty. The micro glitter is, um, doesn't lay very flat though. So here is one coat. I will let that dry and come back in for a second. Here is the second coat of Holiday Splendor. You can already see all that sparkle coming out. So at two coats, it doesn't quite cover up my nail line. So I am gonna let this dry and come back in for a third. This is also one that you will want a top coat with to help level it out and bring out all the sparkle. So here is the third coat of Holiday Splendor. This is gonna bring it closer to being opaque and also intensifies that sparkle a little bit. So here is a look at the finished Manny. And here is a view from a different angle. This is my swatch photo in artificial lighting. And once more at an angle. So next up is Cheetah. I almost feel like a top green's favorite wouldn't be complete without Cheetah. This is from the Pixie Dust line, so I'm not sure if it's still available on Zoya's website. If it is, definitely grab it. This is a forest green with a lot of silver sparkle that turns into texture. So I'll show you how it swatches. Here is one coat of Cheetah. And you can see there my brush is a little bit splayed out. I've heard that's an issue with the Pixie Dust. But it still goes on great one coat and that's all you need. So if you don't like the texture feel, you can put a top coat on this and it's just as pretty. It's just a choice of preference. I'm gonna show you how it looks without a top coat today. So here is a look at the finished Manny. And once more at an angle. Gorgeous polish. If you can get your hands on this, definitely pick it up. Here is my swatch photo under artificial lighting. And once more at an angle. 
so lastly I have Green Ocean from Sinful Colors. This is another really affordable polish. It was hard to find for a bit, but I think these are making their way back on shelves. So this is a slightly green tinted polish with green to blue flakies plus some iridescent glitter. Really gorgeous. This is one of my top favorites of all time. I did pick up a backup bottle of this because I love it so much. On its own, it's really not much. It's not going to get opaque for you, but I am going to show you how it swatches over Zoya's Willa today. It looks great over darker colors too, not just black. So here is one easy coat of Green Ocean. And I know this ends up not being really green, but it does kind of shift to green, so I'm counting it today. You will want a really nice top coat with this because the flakies do tend to kind of stick up and make it a bit textured. And I do not know why, but I don't have a face down finished mani look. So I will show you what this looks like at an angle. Super pretty, one of my favorite combinations. Here is my swatch photo under artificial lighting. And once more at an angle. So that, so that rounds out my top seven favorite green polishes. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite green. I will add a link to each day that I feature a different polish down in the description bar if you'd like to check it out. If you follow me at sloppyswatches.wordpress.com, I will link the other awesome bloggers that are sharing their favorites. You can also follow me on Instagram at sloppy swatches. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.